We're back with an NBC News Investigates exclusive. It's a look at an alarming new report about just how easy it is for some people to get the radioactive material used to make so-called dirty bombs. Stephanie Gosk reports. In April 2019, the FBI surrounded Jared Atkins' Phoenix home in a tense two-hour standoff. Inside, he had three stolen radioactive devices, enough to make a deadly dirty bomb. Atkins is serving 15 years in a federal prison. Now the Government Accountability Office says bad actors don't need to steal radioactive material. They can just buy it. It's material typically used in technological devices for medical, industrial, and research purposes. But the GAO warns in the hands of terrorists, even a small amount could be used to construct a dirty bomb. The GAO now telling us that pretty much anybody can get the materials to create a radiological bomb is extremely scary and uh, I, I think we need to take immediate action. In a report exclusively obtained by NBC News, the GAO concludes security measures in place today do not adequately protect against the purchase of high-risk radioactive materials. Using forged licenses, GAO investigators purchased two quantities of radioactive material from two different U.S. businesses, enough to potentially cause hundreds of deaths from evacuations and billions of dollars of socioeconomic effects. Radioactive materials are controlled by the NRC, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Specific security measures are triggered if someone buys large quantities. The investigators bought less than that, but the GAO is pushing for stricter controls for even smaller amounts citing in part an accident with radioactive material at the University of Washington in May 2019. It took two years to clean up and cost $156 million. According to the report, national security officials tell the GAO there is increasing interest among terrorists and other bad actors to get a dirty bomb. Actual terrorist groups, uh, including neo-Nazi groups in the United States, are trying to obtain a dirty bomb to launch actual attacks. In a statement to NBC News, the NRC says it is taking actions, including immediately communicating with the manufacturers of these radioactive sources and expediting a rule change to verify purchasing licenses. The NRC says the threat does not warrant an immediate change. The authors of the report disagree. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News.